topic of this video is adding or subtracting like rational expressions. Let's look at two problems. Okay, both of these problems happen to be subtraction problems. I found that if students know how to subtract like rational expressions, they have no problem with adding like rational expressions. So let's begin. All right, our first problem, we notice that the denominators match, and therefore we have a problem of the form p over q minus r over q, where the upper left numerator is p, the upper right numerator is r, and the shared or common denominator is x plus 5. The rule for combining these is as follows. Keep the common denominator, subtract the two numerators. And remember the special rule that if your second numerator happens to have more than one term, then the entire numerator must be put in parentheses so that the negative can be distributed to all terms. So then we get x squared plus x minus 25 minus x over x plus 5. We notice that we can simplify because we have a plus x minus x. Opposites are going to cancel to 0. So then we have x squared minus 25 over x plus 5. We've now combined our two fractions into one. However, math builds on itself and we need a previous skill here, which is the skill for simplifying a rational expression. We have to factor all numerators and denominators and cancel common factors to one. Well, it turns out this is a difference of squares, which factors as x plus five, x minus five. Canceling the common factor to one here and here leaves us with our final answer, x minus 5. All right, let's now complete this second problem. Same structure, so same approach. Keep the common denominator, subtract the two numerators. And once again, because our second numerator is more than one term, we have to put the whole thing in parentheses and distribute the subtraction to all terms. So we get x plus 11 minus 4x plus 7 over x subtract 6. Combining like terms in the numerator, we get negative 3x plus 18 over x minus 6. Now, just as we did in the problem that we first completed here, we must now try to factor both numerator and denominator. The GCF of the numerator is negative 3. And when we take it out, it leaves us with an x subtract 6. We can check this with the distributive property. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. A negative times a negative is a positive, And 3 times 6 is 18. So we can see that we do have a common factor, top and bottom, which is this x minus 6. When both of those cancel and become 1, then we have negative 3 over 1, which is negative 3. This concludes this pair of problems.